guys, it's Jake Tutorials, and today I'll be showing you how to speed up your Mac. Don't pay any attention to this. This is just scanning for the grand perspective. Um, that's another app to speed up your Mac, and I'll be showing you that once it's done scanning. So first off, I put together a folder, and all the links will be in the description with five apps. And if you want some more apps, I'll try to do some research and put some more links in the description for you. But these are the apps that I'm going to be basically explaining today. And the first one is going to be App Cleaner. I'm just going to open up that. And so what this does is it allows you to uninstall or remove apps for the Mac. Let's say I wanted to remove Firefox. I'd go to the Applications folder or wherever um, the app is. So I'll go back into that. And let's see, I just drag Firefox into the App Cleaner as long as it's open obviously and it'll it will delete the app and anything associated with it so you just hit delete but I'm not going to delete Firefox also you can check out all the applications that you have and decide whether or not you want to keep them and you can just delete them if you want also widgets same you can delete them any unused widgets that you want, don't or do want I don't think you'd delete them if you did want them though um, also plugins so anyways you can check out that I'm just gonna be explaining the uninstall part the remove part for apps and uh, so again open up app cleaner drag the app and hit delete so it's pretty straightforward I'm just gonna exit out of that and I'll just quit that um, the next is grand perspective I've scanned it um, in advance since it does take some time sometimes and I said sometimes sometime twice um, well anyway um, so this the big blocks are basically what's taking up the most space RAM basically what's slowing down your Mac in my case mainly the Adobe and the iLife is slowing down the Mac, the Mac. so you can see I photo um, Adobe, 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 and iWeb. So, anyways, I'm going to show you that again. Once I exit that, whoops, here, I'll just quit this. And if I open that back up, what you're going to be doing is you're going to open it up and you're going to select your um, Macintosh or you can just select one of them I'm just going to do applications because uh, the whole device might take a little bit longer and you should want to hit scan that will scan all the applications that you have or anything really but application folder it's mainly just applications and I'm just going to, I'm not um, going to finish scanning it I'm just going to quit that since I already showed you it next is monolingual hope I pronounced that right so what this allows you to do is delete languages uh, in the Mac so again pretty straightforward program if I I don't really want to offend anybody by deleting a language but let's say I want to delete that okay English because I'm English so anyways um, I would just hit remove and that would remove the language you can also mess around with this stuff and anyways it's, it's pretty straightforward next is onyx and I agree I'm not going to display that at launch mainly what we're going to be doing um, or what I'm going to be showing you um, is in the the only thing I don't like about it is all the pop-ups okay so I'm going to be showing you the automation. So, maintenance, rebuilding, cleaning. This is going to speed up your Mac tremendously, I hope. It did for me. So, um, let's see. Just check whatever you want to check. So, cleaning, system cache, usage cache, fonts, web browser, definitely that. Unless you, I don't know, your choice. And then just hit execute and that will clean it and 
So there's a lot of other options, but that's the main one, or at least for me. You can go into cleaning. You can delete the cache for boot, kernel, etc. Um, you can go into user, internet, fonts, logs, and yeah. So um, there's a lot to do in this program. You just have to kind of check it out. So yeah, and if you go to info, you can check out your info for um, the info for your Mac. Everything really, I think. Anyways, that's what it, what that's what it looked like. So that's it for the Onyx. So do you really want to quit? Continue, and yes. The last one I'm going to be showing you right now is Xlimmer. Let's open that up. Just click Use Demo unless you want to buy it for fourteen ninety five. So use Demo. Um, let's see, you want to click on Genie. That will find some things that you can slim. And let's ready. Okay, so I'm just gonna hit stop because I'm not gonna wait for it to find everything. So I just clicked stop. What you're gonna do next is you're gonna hit slim at the bottom right. So slim and continue. Enter your password. Uh, okay, that was weird. So now it's going to begin slimming previous size. So it's going to um, hopefully slim the program's apps. Okay, so Adobe Bridge, current size 340 megabytes. And so it's going to just, it's, it's supposed to kind of, you know, slim down the program. So let's just wait for that to finish. And once that's done, uh, once your 50 megabytes is all gone, you're going to have to buy it. And so that's the price you kind of have to pay for if you want the full thing. So anyways, just enjoy the, these programs. You know, I have. They've helped my Mac definitely get you know sped up even though it's kind of new um there's still room for improvement right so uh i hope you like this tutorial please comment and subscribe and i just got final cut and I, it's actually express i decided to get express four i bought it so um for all those people who think i you know pirate and stuff like that i do not encourage that because there's sometimes viruses and that stuff. Anyways, I, don't, I just don't want to risk it or getting in trouble. So I got Final Cut, and I will make a install vid or video later, hopefully, if I can. And so this was um, a how to speed up your Mac tutorial. And I hope you enjoyed it. Please comment, rate, subscribe, and I hope to make some more soon.